David Jones is closing stores. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article from news.com.au discussing David Jones store closures. Now, David Jones are a flagship store. They will attract people to shopping centers. Now, if, you start, if they start closing, if they start reducing their footprint, you might start seeing large empty spaces in shopping centers. I know there's some here at Queensland. We went out with clients to look at how you could possibly reuse them. And it was interesting to see just the, the empty, empty void spaces there, just completely abandoned. And this, this is going to have an impact on the real estate investment trusts that have invested into the retail sector. So the department store giant will cut its floor space by a fifth, fueling speculation about the locations of stores that could be axed. So, oh yeah, up to 10. David Jones branches could be on the chopping block as the, struggle, as the struggles faced by department stores are exacerbated by the ravages of the pandemic. The, I mean, when's the last time you've been in a David Jones? I am trying to think. I probably would walk through the car park to one at Rabina down the Gold Coast, if only to because the car park is so empty. Is that, is that bad? The company hasn't confirmed which stores could be axed, but retail watchers have said regional branches those close to other DJs, as well as its newer format stores, could be having the ruler run over them. But the pandemic cutting a swath through spending, all bets are off. I don't think many store locations are safe right now, said Dr. Jason Pallant, a marketing lecturer at Swinburne University. David Jones has confirmed it is planning on cutting 20% of its floor space, including closing stores where this makes sense. It told news.com.au. No closures were imminent. Even if a store closes, David Jones said jobs would not be lost. Do you think that'll happen? I mean, there's some people that may not want to move to another place, or maybe they'll give redundancies, or maybe they'll keep everyone. Maybe they'll position them in other, other stores or other opportunities. Last week, David Jones' South African owners, Woolworths Holdings, no relation to our Woolies here in Australia, said the Melbourne-based department store had slumped from a profit of $37 million in 2019 to a $33 million loss in 2020. A good chunk of that due to the pandemic. Online sales have doubled since the pandemic and now account for 14% of sales. See, I think the issue is all of these old-fashioned retailers just haven't kept up with online sales. Are they, are they even going to be able to compete? Will they just become distribution centers for Amazon? Then any, anyone can compete with them. I mean, what's so special? I guess if you want to go in there, if you want to go in there, I think the makeup and those type of things and the whole experience, maybe we'll start to see David Jones or these high-end department stores evolve into a smaller, more condensed retail experience. So it becomes more of a, more of a, you know, well, exactly that, more of an experience. It's a destination that you're going there maybe for a specific thing. You know, a boutique boutique department store could we see that could that evolve talking to the sydney morning herald last week bullis holdings chief executive officer roy baganati said david jones was overstored and needed to shed a few there's no doubt we have too many stores for what i think our business purpose is in australia it is overstored i would expect to see a level of reduction coming through and, you know, David jo Jones stores at BP petrol stations have been the bright spot, really, with a further 12 opening in Melbourne and Sydney by the end of the year. Okay, so that's interesting. I remember looking at that last year, where they were just proposing it. I, I guess, you know, David Jones and BP, it's a, it's a bit of a unique mix. It classes up the food experience at a petrol station. Will we now be in a future? Will, be, will we be in a glorious future where you can get food that is actually edible at a petrol station? Could this possibly happen? <laughs> what an age we live in, everyone. What an age we live in. I mean, look at this. Look at this model. This is completely different. Completely different to the traditional DJs, isn't it? Isn't it? Completely different. 
And you know what they could do? They could probably even have click and collect there and you could start buying other products from their online catalog rather than waiting for it to postage. You could just go to a, you know, maybe a petrol station, there'd be a little thing, and they'd have someone there will take it from the back or the warehouse and put it there for you. There you go. You wouldn't need all this rent, all this air conditioning, all this power. Maybe they could have even change rooms in these petrol stations. Could that be could that be an evolution? Maybe I should design up a little pod that can hmm. I should I should do that and send it to them. <laughs> so the first store flagged to shut. The firm has flagged a reduction in store numbers by 2025, but those plans could now be accelerated. David Jones currently has 47 locations around Australia and New Zealand. A 20% reduction in footprint would be around 10 stores. But fewer stores may close if some of that reduced footprint can be achieved by slimming down existing stores. DJs in Marion, Adelaide, the Glen, Melbourne, Carindale, Brisbane have recently been cut down to size. I mean, that, that's an important thing too, when they literally just cut the floor area that they're leasing. That they're leasing. And I guess that's an advantage for the center owners because then they still have that flagship, that draw card. But I'm, I'm actually thinking more and more about this pod idea. <laughs> I, should, I should model something up. David Jones will continue to optimize our store network and formats over time. And this will take in a variety of options, including right-sizing our existing stores, repurposing floor space, and in some instances, closing stores where this makes sense, a company spokesman said. The first store that is known, that it, that it knows will shut, is one of two branches on Brook Street, in Melbourne CBD, referred to as the men's store. DJ sold the smaller Brook Street store in July for $121 million and will move menswear and its food hall over the road into its larger premises. It will lease back the men's store for a time. The company has, has last announced it is undertaking comprehensive review of its David Jones food business. This includes its famous food halls, as well as its first standalone David Jones food store in South Yarra, close to Melbourne CBD. That has raised speculation that it will be an easy branch to banish. This is one thing I remember as a child, because I grew up in, in Victoria, in Melbourne. We, we lived in Coldstream, and I remember catching the train with my mother into the city to go all the way to the, you know, I think the food halls there, right in the city right in the city and I, have, I remember getting like some chocolate treat and my mother would get salmon and all this food because she had to go she had to go into the city to get all the stuff that she wanted because she couldn't get it out in suburbia in the 80s i mean look, look at how uh, how different the world is now in australia guys in contrast bp david jones petrol stations which sell a selection of ritzy ready meals biscuits pastas and more alongside the usual fuel and confectionery are doing a roaring trade they're already around 12 open in Sydney and Melbourne and an aim for 30 by year's end. So branches are at risk. QT marketing professor Gary Mortimer told news.com.au forecasting which stores might fall by the wayside was an educated guess. But there were likely to be a number of variables in deciding whether to shutter stores, including how difficult it was to wriggle out of leases, if a store had been recently refurbished and whether foot traffic is likely to be sustained. Regional stores are more exposed to closure than CBD stores. So stores located in holiday and tourism zones where visitation trends to ebb and flow may be less desirable to maintain. These include stores in Mandura, south of Perth, everyone's favorite suburb who watches DFA, or Wollongong. But Professor Mortimer said the relatively new Sunshine Coast store might be a keeper because of the wealthier shoppers around Coulomb and Newsa. David Jones could cut one of its two Gold Coast stores that are close to one another, he said with Rabina just six kilometers from the more recently refurbished Pacific Fair. Is that only six kilometers? Really? No, it can't be. Maybe by the, where the, by the, the way the bird flies, but I, maybe, I guess. DJ, I guess it just feels a lot longer because of the traffic down there. DJ store in Tawong in inner Brisbane has other branches just four kilometers either side of it. Experimental former, uh, experimental smaller format stores like Baron Guru may be on the list too as their small format James Street store in Brisbane closed earlier this year. 
Long lease agreements make it difficult for retailers to exit even some underperforming sites. Stores with only a few years left on a lease may be at the top of the list for closures, Professor Mortimer said. But ultimately, David Jones may simply cut their losses and pay out remaining leases, ultimately saving other costs associated with running the stores. So no store is safe. Swine, uh, Swinburne's Dr. Palance said the pre-COVID logic that had been CBD stores were better placed than their regional and suburban counterparts due to high spending city workers and tourists. But COVID had turned that assumption on its head. With the shift to work from home due to the pandemic, there is now a real consideration of whether large stores in CBD or major shopping centers will be sustainable. These locations attract high rental fees, so depending on how big the shift away from CBD work is, I wouldn't be surprised to see some brands re-looking at their major locations, he said. Earlier this month, arch-rival Meyer said its sales slump in CBD stores was more than three times that in the suburbs. Could this be a cultural shift, everyone, with more and more people working from home? Are we going to start to see? We've already seen that with some... Well, some real estate investment trusts that are primarily focused on offices. What was it GrowCorp who had all the all the fringe offices around? They're still able to collect over ninety percent of their their rent. We'll have to see how they go for the next next reporting. And then, I mean, think about it: if you don't need the CBD office, if you could work from home with a, and maybe you meet up at a at a suburban office, or you you know move out. It's all about saving coin, people. Nonetheless, David Jones has said its Sydney CBD store is doing remarkably well, considering the chaos caused by the pandemic. After a $220 million makeover, it opened in the middle of the national lockdown, but now the firm said its sales are higher than last year despite fewer CBD workers and no tourists. Dr. Pallant said the reality was there would be question marks over how many DJ's branches were needed. Or, sorry, question marks over many DJ's branches. Overall, I don't think many store locations are safe right now as some of the long-term impacts of the pandemic and associated lockdowns are only just beginning a david jones spokesman said the aim was to align its offer with the change needs and preferences of its shoppers we are working methodically and constructively with our landlords suppliers and other stakeholders to approach our store space in different ways that increase productivity ensuring relevance and enhanced experience this includes further investment in our stores and the development of new offerings such as our Carindale Beauty offering in Brisbane, he said. Simultaneously, we're investigating in our omni-channel and online offering so that customers have a seamless, elevated experience however they choose to shop with us. So there we have it. You know, The fundamental takeaway, David Jones are cutting 20% of their floor area. So there are going to be a lot of shops that may be gone. What do you think, everyone? Are you surprised at the success of the David Jones BPs? Have you gone to them? What is the experience like? Do you think you know you know what shops could be at risk? Or are you like me and are not even in the demo to go to David Jones? As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create, there are a few ways you can. You can simply join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you all next time.